And what does that say about that guy? He probably sees his grandkids a couple times a year. And his children have not taught them who George Washington is. There's a reason there's no Hollywood movies about George Washington. Because it was so epic. So over the top. It, it, it wouldn't be believed because truth is stranger than fiction. That's, but the military knows who George Washington is. Because the army at least taught that up until about 20 years ago. And so now they're like, George Washington, by the way, is bad. The military's, well, why is he on our Purple Heart? So now they're talking about taking George Washington off the Purple Heart. They told Navy SEALs don't wear the Gadsden flag, even though it's a flag used by the Navy and John Paul Jones, the founding of the Navy. Navy SEALs can't wear it. Because our loving government said so. And you can't say take back America because Obama said it's racist. But if Joe Biden wants to, you can see it's about them setting reality and lecturing everyone. And telling everyone what they can do and what they can't do. I mean, it's, it's tyranny. It's control freak. It's not liberal. Let's go to your phone calls. Mark in Illinois. Thank you for calling in today. Welcome. How you doing? I'm all right, brother. Good. Uh, you know, I'm going to talk about those fake videos. And uh, my friend showed me this picture the other day on the Internet, and it was amazing. I couldn't believe it. I don't know if you've seen it or not. But it's this uh, uh, Alex Israel, her name is, I guess. And then she's a former classmate of uh, Adam Lanza. And they had her on uh, CNN as she was on there speaking about Adam Lanza being her former classmate. And then she's also... In this video with uh, with James Foley, same girl. I swear to God, Alex, it's the same girl. If you see the picture, and she's saying that she's uh, James Foley's sister, it's the same girl. If you see this, you you, it, it's amazing. It is the same girl. Well, you know, there's a lot to that with actors and things being used. Clearly, they're doing some of that. Clearly, some of this stuff is staged. Send me the info. I appreciate your call. You know, there's a story we're going to paste over at Infowars.com. Missing Libyan jetliners raise fears of suicide airliner attacks on 9-11. Islamists have taken over the Tripoli airport, the same people they, our government put in there, and now have nearly a dozen commercial jetliners that they could use as weapons. And again, our government three years ago put them in and took over the country. Simply in Incredible. And there's photos uh, of it as well with the Libyan Airways and other aircrafts that are there with the burning airport now that they've uh, taken it over. Let's go ahead and go to another phone call here. Let's go ahead and talk to Matt in Washington, D.C. Hey, uh, I just wanted to... Uh Hey, I'm a big fan and uh, been listening to it for years. I'm a Prison Planet member, and I just wanted to bring up the idea of, um, you know, compassion and how a lot of people around the country think that standing up for, um, you know, people is important and listen to your show. But I think it goes to the point that all conscious creatures need to be protected, and it, it, it adds to the hypocrisy I, I see in America when. Um, you talk about fighting for people who can't fight for themselves, and then you talk about having a brisket for, for your lunch. Break that down for me again. Well, I just feel that we talk about compassion and we care about people who can't fight for themselves, like unborn children and you know people, people who don't know what's, what's really going on against them uh, with the government. So... I just wanted to, I would like to hear a comment about how you feel about the 2012 Declaration of Consciousness that Cambridge University um, came out with saying that all creatures have consciousness and are aware of their surroundings. And it, I think it would help the movement if we could incorporate those two, not necessarily, you know, the PETA extremists who want to kill the animals who, who uh, don't have Well, look, lives. look, that's a very, look, obviously I don't like to hurt Here's the thing. Prey animals are meant to be eaten, like cows and deer and rabbits and things like that. I, humans are somewhat predatory. In fact, Nico wanted me to cover it last week. It was a great idea. I never covered it. A study came out where they want to genetically engineer predators, lions and stuff, so they don't eat gazelles because that's, quote, mean. I mean, we are what we are. It's our nature, so it's a balance.
Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions, silverlungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at silverlungs.com. That's silverlungs.com. We the people People grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit, then carting to a private bank, having it lent back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. A 30-day GMO-free emergency food supply for only $99 at 30dayfoodsupply.com. You can purchase Oregon Trail Foods' one-month supply of high-quality, nutritious, and healthy emergency meals. For less than $100, these vegetarian meals are naturally high in fiber, carbs, and protein, and they're packed with oxygen absorbers in Mylar pouches. They're completely free of any artificial flavors and colorings, have a 20-year shelf life, and take up to 70% less space than number 10 cans. They even offer a gluten free option. Oregon Trail Foods and 30dayfoodsupply.com keep prices low by buying directly from the producers in Oregon and then passing the savings to you. Purchase a 30-day 90-serving emergency food supply for only $99 this month and $10 ships your entire order. Visit the website at 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 541-229-0010. That's 30dayfoodsupply.com where they make preparedness affordable. 30dayfoodsupply.com. What good is a Big Berkey water filter? We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. question that could be a whole three-hour debate. I know this, though. The main animal rights movement has a lot of well-meaning people in it, but its main goal at the top is to take control of private property and to let government, quote, represent other life forms to then claim that it vetoes human votes. And with the rise of the robots and the rest of it, the, the globalists don't need people anymore. They don't need the large numbers of people. Uh, there's also a radical plan to phase out Earth's predatory species. Um, and we'll cover that coming up in the next hour. I want to go to more of your calls. And we've also got Joe Biggs coming up. But it's about social engineers playing God. 
I do agree, though, that factory farm chicken and not treating the animals humanely and not thinking about where it came from hurts us as well, not just the animals, because we get all the toxins and all the stress that they've gone through, and they start irradiating the food. They start you know, feeding in antibiotics because they don't care about the chickens. We don't care about the chickens or pigs. Well, the globalists don't care about us either. We all lower our values and really create a hellish world. And the more we lower our values, we don't get a better deal or higher quality. We get a very ugly, fly-by-night, one-night stand, dishonorable culture. Seth in Ohio on Ebola. Yeah, the head of the CDC says it's set to be 100,000 cases by December. This is definitely the biggest outbreak ever and I think is a real threat. What's your take on Ebola, Seth? Well, I just thought it was kind of weird that right before the information about it started coming out, I think it was on TNT or TBS, they aired a uh, series called The Last Ship. Basically about a uh, deadly virus that loose in uh, Egypt, I think it was, and then spread across the country or the world. And then let me guess, I didn't see the show. Is there one ship left with people alive on it? Uh, you got it right. Well, one ship of ours, and then uh, they uh, continually uh, fought against uh, a single Russian ship. So there's two ships left in the world. They're not working together. Nope. Well, notice every theme is about how we fight with each other instead of working together. And the only way to work together is through the UN, which, again, the globalists control. That's how they control both sides of the debate. There are literally scores of TV shows and movies out about how humans are all about to be killed and the end of the world. They're just getting us ready for the controlled bioweapons release that the eugenicists are, are preparing for. Uh, and, and notice they have a vaccine coming out as well. Uh, so you can take that and be saved from the Ebola. The whole thing's very suspicious. What do you think? Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's basically, I mean, it's almost word for word about what's going on there and what happened on that show. You know, they uh, had a, a doctor from the CDC on the boat trying to uh, create a, uh, a vaccine. Well, I don't think they're going to release a super pandemic right away that wipes everybody out. But with all the GMO testing and cross-species manipulation going on and viral research, basically at a nanotech level, uh, it's very easy for a mistake to happen that wipes everybody out. And the globalists know that. That's why they're building human seed banks, uh, biological seed banks, uh, plant seed banks. ARCs, as they call them. It's why elites are building underground facilities, private and public, you know, for themselves everywhere at a very, very quick pace uh, because they believe the world's carrying capacity has been reached and it's going to collapse. So they want to go ahead and hasten that collapse and have a controlled demolition rather than a uh, uncontrolled demolition that may end up destroying the planet. That's their argument behind everything they're doing. Let's go to Trey in Louisiana. Thanks, Seth. Uh, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, um, I just wanted to talk about, like, youth in America, I guess. Um, I know a bunch of my friends. I'm 21 now. I've been listening since I was about 16. And there's a bunch of people who are who are awake now because of your show. And, I mean, what what would you recommend, like, we do to try to wake up other young people in America? Because it's either, like, they're awake or they're just so far already gone that it's not even worth trying. So I just... I'm going to tell a story when we come back, uh, a, a, a allegory of that, of good versus evil. That was so epic last night. And I'm going to try to answer your question on the other side. Then we'll go to our reporters who are on the border in El Paso, where Homeland Security says a terror threat is imminent. And they believe will happen. Those are quotes by September 11th, on, uh, by or on September 11th. I don't know if that's true. We're down there investigating it. Thank you, Trey. I'm going to stay there, too. After I 
go through this. I'm going to go back to you and to our reporters. Infowars.com. The Empire's on the run. Don't take this show for granted, Alex folks. Jones and it's the GCN Radio Network. We know we're not perfect. We're doing the best we can. Pray for it.